Well, thanks to time and thieves, many of the tiles that spell out New Orleans street names, well, they're disappearing. But as WDSU photojournalist Krista Rock shows us, a young man is doing his part to restore the icons by hand. Basically, all I was given to start the job was a broken single letter R. And no one knew the history, no one knew how they're made, you know, where they were made, or pretty much anything about it except that they needed them. So I had to walk basically the whole streets, the whole city, like playing city scrabble, finding letters, you know, ones that aren't broken enough and I could get a good rubbing of that would turn into a good stencil. I think I'm still missing one or two letters <laughs> right now, you know, I got it. So this is the slip cast mold. It's a plaster mold with a front and a back and I fill the top of it with the slip, which I have to make, you know, n none of this is pre-made or off the shelf or store bought and uh, this is how the tile comes out. It first started off with me growing up in my parents ceramic business and you know just in ceramics my dad went to college and all that and had Haslock Studios which was making plates and platters and tiles and ceramics of any sort for kitchens and bathrooms and homes and looking back I would have never imagined being in ceramics or you know, I mean, I was always an artist. You know, I'd like to draw and paint and, you know, make things in my own free time. But having this much of a contribution to the city is pretty cool. You know, my family's been here since July 4th, 1801. You know, my mother's, you know, perfectly 50-50 French and Spanish. And my mom's dad was Spanish that came here in the 1800s. And so for me to be in this place now, it's been been pretty mind blowing just to have this much of an influence in the history of the city as you know everyone before me and and the cool thing is 2009 I'm hand making all the tiles like in putting the color in hand making every mold for every letter every cast hand cutting the sides you know it's like no mechanics involved and just stamping them out like cookie cutters you know which is one of the reasons why it's taken me two years to finally delivered my first hundred tiles to Bow Brothers last week, <laughs> you know. Very cool. And Nick says he is now working on street tiles along Charter Street in the Marigny and the Bywater. Coming up next, Annunciation Street.